Hi everyone, well 2017 has begun and as promised here is your video on the Unreal Toys custom cape for the Hot Toys Batman vs Superman regular suit Batman. This is the pose that I guess most of you wanted to know about. Uh, can you do this? Can you leave them like this on display? Yes, you certainly can. The suit by Hot Toys is so well designed that I wouldn't really have any fear of leaving him in this position. Uh, and the cape is so well done. I mean, I really do love it. Uh, it hangs beautifully and in order to get him to do this pose he does come with one hand this one over here which will grip the cape nicely it's the one that I think he holds the batarang with however this hand or this arm doesn't have a hand that is going to do the same as that one he doesn't have a hand for this arm that will grip that cape uh, so I've actually used an 89 Batman Hot Toys hand uh, just to hold that you can't see it so just to get the job done and let you see this pose it looks incredible um, I'll put a pause in in a minute and see if I can tweak a few things, just change up the pose a little bit, uh, maybe get the legs in a slightly different position. Uh, I would have him looking down even further, but I don't want to cover up the bat symbol any more than I already am. As you can see there, I've covered it up a little bit. But I figured if he was dropping down about to whoop some ass, he would be looking in that sort of general direction. So that's how he looks from kind of right underneath. Very nice. I'll just come around to the side a little bit um, there's really no stress on the suit whatsoever I just lifted his arms up the posability with this figure is fantastic the arms went up really easy they hold there very well and I tried to keep the sort of collar section of the cape semi accurate so you are able to do that and if you take even more time with it you can get it to look even better yeah, let me pause this and I'll see if I can tweak the pose a little bit and show you some more. Well guys, I'll be honest, I did try a couple of different poses. Well, I tweaked it a little bit. I tried to maneuver the legs a little bit and uh, just change it slightly, but it didn't really look very good. I think this original pose that I put him in is probably the best way uh, you're going to be able to display him sort of like this. It looks good. He's just leaping down off a roof and he's, uh, you know, dropping down. Now there is no wire in this cape. Unreal Toys are making a wired version. Uh, do you know what? I would be kind of tempted maybe to get one of those as well, thinking about it now. Just because this is such a fantastic looking figure and I'm pretty sure a wired cape, and you know, just bellowing in the wind and another kind of dropping down like this, but to have the cape really spread out and be able to manipulate it and do whatever you want, that is very tempting. So I'll have a word of lucky and see if he uh, can put me on the list for one of those. Um, I'm not too sure how snowed under he is with requests for these capes. Um, I can honestly recommend them. You can see, do you know what I'm going to say? The way the cape's falling, you know that kind of big thick bat symbol that he has on his chest? That reminds me of this because it's chunky looking. If you look at the outline, the shape, I know it's nowhere near uh, exactly you know, the bat symbol shape, but it reminds me of that. I think it's quite in keeping with the the bat symbol again his cowl is covering up the head of the bat symbol just because of how extreme i've gone with the looking down position of the head but yep yeah, once again if you're interested go on facebook type in unreal toys you should be able to find lucky pretty easily and have a word of him and see if he can put you on the list for one of these or the wired version coming soon i've just changed out the mouth plate for the one that came with the nightmare batman version the open mouth with the teeth showing Nice and aggressive. That looks very cool. I'm going to switch out as well and show you with. Where is it? Let's see. This one as well. The, the teeth. So let's try that next. Yeah. There it is. Look at that. That looks nice. That looks pretty cool. Yep, so that's how that looks. Hit it from the side. There we go. I think I just prefer the neutral one, to be honest, where it's just got a straight face. I just wanted to show you the different uh, looks. And I'm going to leave it at this pose, because I don't want to mess with, you know, I don't think I'm going to get any better than this, to be honest. Plus, it's been a long night. I was working all through New Year's Eve. It was pretty hectic. And I am exhausted, so I hope you enjoy it. Just come around a few angles for you. 
It really reminds me of his bat symbol. But yeah, looks great. I'm actually going to turn him around. And hopefully the cape will stay in his hands. In case you're curious about what it looks like from the back. Or oh, mind you, the dynamic stand is protruding out there. That's going to ruin the look. Alright, never mind seeing it from the back. <laughs> that looks kind of funky. But yeah. So, I think you could leave him like this on display with no worries of any damage to the suit because it's so well designed and the articulation is fantastic. You could leave him like this. And in fact, I am very tempted to leave him like this. Although this is the stand I use on my, uh, my werewolf. Urgh. He's gonna get you. Such a fantastic piece. The Cool Models werewolf figure. Um, but yeah, this is the dynamic stand, which is actually a gift from Sven Ezarez, the reviewer on YouTube. Thanks, Sven. Okay, and there he is back on the shelf again. I can finally find a uh, pose to leave him in. And I uh, probably won't be doing any more videos on him for a while, so I could just find a cool pose and leave him there and just enjoy having uh, the figure on display. One thing I will address, um, I did see someone say in the comments for the first video on this cape that the Hot Toys one was more accurate. Um, I wouldn't say that because if you watch the scene where Superman asks Batman when Wonder Woman shows up, is she with you? Uh, the camera goes to a pretty close up kind of shot about there of Batman when he replies, I thought she was with you. If you look at his cape going over his shoulder when he says that, you can see that the cape is quite thick and it looks quite weighty, even though it is CG in a lot of the movie. In some scenes, he actually did have the cape there. And when it is a real cape, you can see that it is quite thick and looks quite heavy. So this cape is slightly thicker. It's not a, um, a thick material by any means. Uh, it's just that there's a lot of the cape and it kind of folds around itself. But if you actually get the cape in your fingers, I mean, you can see that's just as thin as the Hot Toys one. It's just, oh, that's come. Maybe now that this has done that, let me try and show you how I get the fold. See, you can see it's kind of folded over and then you take this bit and then you just do that. And there you go. Like I said before, you can do it better if you take your time. But yep, yeah, Facebook, Unreal Toys, hit him up. Tell him Dean sent you. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.